this thing on yes it is okay <laughs> welcome back good people welcome back to the vlog uh, this wasn't exactly planned not not at all uh, someone kindly reminded me that I would be posting again and I was saying I'm not exactly kind of wanting to post Oh, well, you're a liar because you told your subscribers you would. Okay, okay. So I don't call it lying. I call it moving production to the right so that I can make more time for planning, backwards planning, and then planning some more. Yada, 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 yada. <laughs> I'm doing this in duress. Uh, so, yeah. What's new, Pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a third bike. His name is Blue Cruiser. Uh, I actually really like it. It's a cruising bike, obviously. Uh, one of the first things I did when I got to Oklahoma, when I moved to Stillwater, uh, look for the local bike shops. That's right, because my bikes need service. I like looking at them, I like looking at the products, the accessories, yada, yada, yada. Uh, why not? And uh, there's only two in the town. One of them's like a used bike shop, but the person that owned it had nothing but negative things to say about cruiser bikes. Me, I'm from Cali. I love cruiser bikes. That's my thing. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, it's, it's more of a nostalgic kind of feel when you're riding a cruiser bike. So, or at least when I'm riding a cruiser bike, and uh, I just didn't like how she was just really negative about cruisers. Okay, cool. So I went to the other bike shop, which is a little, a whole lot nicer, newer, especially for the small town that Stillwater is. I didn't mention Stillwater is a college town. OSU was there. Uh, they are totally run by the college. Football rules when it's football season. I'm still learning about the culture and all that jazz. But anyway, back to bikes. Uh, yeah, I saw this blue, this cruiser there, and I thought I. I gave it maybe a couple days, a day or two, and thought, yeah, I have to have this bike. Like, I absolutely have to have this bike. So I bought the bike. So now I have three bikes, and they all have a different purpose. Uh, the e-bike, which is all black, that one's like my commuter bike. The gray bike with drop bars, that one is more commute slash adventure bike. And then the third bike, which is the cruiser, that one I take out to the lake and just go in circles, cruising around. Sometimes I go out there in my vans, sometimes out there, sometimes I go out there in my sandals, you know, have my little Bluetooth speaker hooked up to the, the bar and just, just have a blast, just going around town and whatnot. Um, funny story kind of happened to me when I uh, first got here and whatnot. Kind of my fault, kind of not. But I guess we'll, I'll let you decide. <laughs> uh, when I first got here, obviously I got my cruiser bike. And, you know, I'm from Cali. I tend to dress a certain way. I'm kind of plugging my phone in. I tend to dress a certain way sometimes. I can't help it. Um, bald head doesn't exactly scream. Well, it does scream stereotype. But that it doesn't. So... Um, I go back and forth with that. Anyway, I go to uh, this lake there, and um, it has a it's a 3.1 mile circle around it, uh, all cement path. Get on my bike, start going in circles. I'm absolutely. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Kind of breezy, pretty sunny, really nice. Um, and I have my Bluetooth speaker kind of strapped to uh, the, the top bar of the bike. That way, you know, I can I have my Bluetooth on there. I have my phone attached to it it's on the handlebars. And I'm just kind of just cold chilling, riding, listening to my music. It's totally just cruising in the mode, in the, just totally in the vibe. Next thing I know, I'm riding. There's some people down the path. I hear someone say, hey, 
get off the path. Uh, looks like there's an essay out today. Huh? <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to figure out the fudge are they talking about? Are they talking about me? M me? I had an essay. I'm a Puerto Rican. Puerto Rock. Boricua. Um, but I looked down at myself and then I thought, oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> Uh, again, it was a kind of a breezy day. The one thing that I took from Colorado was never leave your place without a jacket or a hoodie or something because you never know when the snow or the cold is going to say, ah, I'm here. You really never know. So um, I was wearing a hoodie. I have a basketball shorts on. Uh, my hair was freshly shaved. I have my lokes on, for those of you that don't know what that is, that's um, basically sunglasses. Uh, you don't really get them from a specific place, or you do, mostly gas stations, you know, they're called lokes. Uh, they're kind of square in the frame, yoink, and they go back, really, I like them, but I kind of grew up on it. And I have uh, my Vans on, my slip-on Vans, with my calf high socks on me i'm not really paying no mind i'm thinking i'm just cruising then i see what i'm wearing oh that makes sense on top of the fact that i'm kind of uh blurring tupac and the song was uh <laughs> hit him up and if you know anything about that song <laughs> It is probably one of the greatest uh, diss songs, diss tracks ever created, opinion. But it's really wordy. A lot of, a lot of words. Uh, the kind that try not to say myself. Try. Attempt. Moderate success. So, yeah. I was mistaken for an essay. Do I have a problem with that? Eh, I mean, it is what it is. What are you going to do? You know? Well, what are you going to do? I, I'm in a town that's, I mean, it's either black or white. That's it. And the only reason there's black, and yeah, I know, you're not supposed to say that. Shut up, SJWs. Um, the only reason is because there's a college there and obviously kids of all shades of the rainbow come to the college but from what I've seen just basically those two and uh, it's like I said it's interesting I'm learning the college I'm learning uh, the college culture there the football culture you know it's it's not much to do there except you know, drink which I don't do, and if I do, I do it at home. Uh, actually, I tell, I told you guys I do Uber. This is what, like one of my go-to jokes here that gets me tips. Uh, when they ask me, oh, do you drink? I said, yeah, moderately, but mostly I drink at home. Why? I like drinking at home watching Netflix. So that way, when I get drunk and pass out, I can wake up offended. And I, when I see Netflix saying, do you want to continue watching? Yeah, Netflix, I want to continue watching. You act like there's somebody else. This is the only sustainable relationship I have. I'm not cheating on you with Hulu, okay? There's only YouTube, but YouTube came before you, and YouTube's like the village bike. Everyone uses it. So let's not do this again, Netflix. You know there's only you. That's like my go-to joke, and that, that'll give me like two or three bucks of tips, so. Hey, I never said I was a comedian. I'm moderately funny. I'm talking like dad jokes. I try to, I stay in my wheelhouse. I don't, I don't go above, below. I kind of stay in that like cornball joke wheelhouse simply because it's easy going and sometimes I can hit it up the park. And then uh, sometimes, whop, whop, whop. Yeah. So. Other than that, there's not too much new going on with me. 
you know, um, work is work. I like it. I have a team of people that I can count on, which is amazing. I still keep up with some folks from Colorado. Uh, I still keep up with some folks that move from Colorado to Cali, uh, specifically my uh, sister from another mister. She know who she is. T. Anyway, yeah, still keep up with her, obviously. She is my uh, consigliere, confidant. She don't know that. She probably already knows. But the less she knows, the better. Because she knows all too much. Much too much. I farted. And it smells. Anyway, that's about all the time I got tonight. It is 11.07. And I got to get up tomorrow for a three hour and some change drive back to Stillwater. Um, it's been a blast. Hey, Arkansas, it's been fun, but it's been real, but it hasn't been real fun. Ha! Anyway, I'm out of here.